Hello friends, this video on gravitation part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 18 before going ahead with part 19. Look at problem 1. The problem 1 says, a 400 kg satellite is in a circular orbit of radius 2 re about the earth. How much energy is required to transfer it to a circular orbit of radius 4 re? That means at present the satellite is in a, let us suppose this is earth and this is the satellite. So at present the satellite is in a circular orbit of radius 2 re. Now we want this satellite to be transferred to an orbit of radius 4 re. Something of this sort. So we want the radius to be changed to 4 re. So what are the how much energy is required to do this change? That means how much energy is required to make it move in an orbit of radius 4 re. So see energy in the initial case. In initial case it is moving in a radius of 2 re. So in this case the initial energy would be minus g m e into m divided by 2 into 2 re because in this case the radius is 2 re. In the final scenario it is moving in an orbit of radius 4 re. So final and en total energy would be minus g m e into m divided by 2 into 4 re because here the radius itself is 4 re. Therefore change in energy delta e would be equal to e f minus e i. So that will be equal to minus g m e into m divided by 2 r e. 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2. So we get this comes out to be minus g m e into m divided by 8 r e. I'm sorry it is plus. So this is the value of the change in energy. That means this much energy is required to transfer the orbit from a radius of 2 r e to a radius of 4 r e. So this would be the energy that is required. So the first part of the question is solved. The second half says what are the changes in kinetic and potential energies? Now let us solve the first part as well. This we can also write in terms of small g that is acceleration due to gravity which comes out to be g m r e divided by 8 because g is nothing but equal to g m e by r e square. Now if you put the value of g as 9.8 m as 400 R e as 6.37 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 8. So you get the value as 3.13 into 10 to the power 9 joules. So this would be the energy that is required to transfer it to a circular orbit of double the initial radius. Now what would be the change in kinetic energy? The change in kinetic energy would be equal to k final minus k initial which would be nothing but negative of 3.13 into 10 to the power 9 joules because the change in total energy would be nothing but the change in kinetic energy because the kinetic energy will get reduced. Right? Because we have already calculated the values of kinetic energy, potential energy and total energy for an orbiting satellite. If you look at that, you will see that the value of energy, total energy and kinetic energy is the same, just that they are opposite in sign. And the value of potential energy is twice the value of kinetic energy. So potential energy is twice of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is equal to negative of total energy. Right? So if you want you can go back to the slide where we proved this. So the change in kinetic energy would be this 
and what would be the change in potential energy? It would be twice the change in total energy. So that will become minus 6.25 into 10 to the power 9 joules. So this would be the value of change in potential energy. Right? So this is how we calculated the values of all the energies. Let us go ahead and look at another numerical. Calculate the height of a geostationary satellite from the surface of the earth. So it is a very general problem which needs to be solved. So we will see how do we approach for this. Now till now we saw that for any geostationary satellite the time period is equal to 24 hours that is 24 into 60 into 60 seconds that is equal to 86400 seconds right now we also know that orbital velocity v is given by the total distance traveled that is the circumference divided by time period so 2 pi r divided by time period so what is r here r is nothing but the distance of the satellite from the earth let us suppose this is earth and this is the satellite. So the satellite is moving in this fashion. Right? So what, what is the value of R? This is the circle in which the satellite is moving. So circumference would mean 2 pi R. And R would mean radius of the earth plus the distance of the satellite from the surface of the earth. That means this R will be equal to Re plus H. Correct? Now, since it is moving in a circular path, we will use the same funda. That is, there is a centripetal force which will be acting, which will be equal to mv square divided by r. And that r will be nothing but capital R. Similarly, there would be a force of gravitation between the earth and the satellite. And that will be g into me into m divided by r square. Now since it is moving in a stable orbit, therefore these two forces should balance each other that is Fc should be equal to Fg. Therefore we say mv square by r is equal to gme into m divided by r square. Now m and m will get cancelled, r and r square will get cancelled. So from here we get V square is equal to GME divided by R. Now what will be V? V will be nothing but from this equation we can say that V is nothing but 2 pi R by T. So we can write this is 4 pi square R square divided by T square is equal to GME divided by r. Now we can write r cube is equal to g into m t square divided by 4 pi square. We also know that acceleration due to gravity that is g is equal to g m divided by r e square. Right? So we can, instead of gm, we can replace it with small g into re square. So using that we get r cube is equal to g into re square into t square divided by 4 pi square. Therefore, r is equal to g re square into t square by 4 pi square this whole to the power 1 by 3. So this would be the value of r that is the radius of the orbit. Right? Now we know that we'll put the values of g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. We will put r e that is radius of the earth as 6.37 into 10 to the power 6 meters. We will put the time period as 86400 seconds. Now putting these values, we find that R is equal to 
फोर टू वन फोर सेवन किलोमीटर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आर विच वी गेट नाउ इन द प्रीवियस लाइट वी ऑलरेडी शोड दैट आर इज नथिंग बट रेडियस ऑफ द अर्थ प्लस हाइट ऑफ द सैटेलाइट फ्रॉम द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ सो फ्रॉम दिस वी गेट एच इज इक्वल टू आर माइनस आर ई सो आर इज द ऑर्बिटल रेडियस विच इज फोर टू वन फोर सेवन आर ई इज रेडियस ऑफ द अर्थ विच इज सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री सेवन इंटू टेन टू द पावर थ्री नाउ वेन वी कैलकुलेट दिस वी गेट थ्री फाइव सेवन 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 किलोमीटर सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज द हाइट ऑफ द जियो स्टेशनरी सैटेलाइट फ्रॉम द अर्थ सो जियो स्टेशनरी सैटेलाइट इज एट अ हाइट ऑफ थ्री फाइव सेवन 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 किलोमीटर फ्रॉम द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ सो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज मेक अ नोट दैट वाई सॉल्विंग एनी प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू ग्रेविटेशन you just need to remember the proper formulas and you have to put the values there are not much tricky things involved here you just need to understand the question properly and then use the correct formula there right thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again